Now, let's get into the 49ers quarterback scenario. So, like I had said earlier, for the 49ers, me and you both, during our mock offseason, said, Mac Jones, he's our guy. He fits yeah. the system. You know, he, we both thought that he was way more talented than the public was giving him credit for. You know, I had comped him in my quarterback's rankings video to Sam Bradford, who was the number one overall pick. And I even think that he has some strengths over Sam Bradford that make Mac Jones possibly a better prospect than Sam Bradford was. Um, but because he's not this modern, prototypical dual threat guy, people are kind of writing him off as that de facto quarterback four or five. I think that that's stupid because if you look at the tape, Mac Jones is a good player. And he really fits the system that Shanahan wants to run. This more classic West Coast system where the timing is extremely important on these plays. They want to stretch defenses horizontally for the most part. And if you hold on to the ball too long, the plays do not work. And here's an example. Uh, Week 10 against the Saints. You have Nick Mullins here who had to start a lot of games last year. And he kind of struggled at times. And for this very reason, this is not an easy... It's not a hard system for a quarterback. It's just you gotta your process has gotta be quick. You gotta hit guys open when they are. You gotta hit the plays how they're designed to be hit. And here's an example of Nick Bones taking a little bit too long to get rid of the ball. You see, he he doesn't anticipate this throw. He he hitches a little bit, he hesitates, and it almost ends up as an interception. This is the problem with, I believe, taking Justin Fields if I'm the 49ers at pick three, because If you watched our analysis on the quarterbacks, Justin Fields' number one issue, at least for me, was anticipating throws. He held on to the ball way too long. Statistically speaking, it backs up my point, Justin Fields has the highest average time to throw of any of the top quarterbacks in the draft at 3.11 seconds versus the blitz, it even increases to 3.18 seconds. Yeah, it's bad. Comparing that to... The other two quarterbacks that people have them taking, Trey Lance at 2.92 seconds average time to throw, and Mac Jones 2.51 seconds. So you can see how Mac Jones, his play style at Alabama, really fits the offense that they run in San Francisco. And to kind of prove that, Jimmy G's average time to throw in 2019 when they made it to the Super Bowl was 2.65 seconds, which was top five in the league in 2019. Mm-hmm. It's clear as day. You can watch it on film. You can go on Next Gen Stats. This is not a system where they want to hold on to the ball for three, four, five seconds. You got to get rid of the ball on time, or the plays do not work. Yeah, it, the system right here. It, it, and Matt Jones ran a very similar system in Bama, and you know, it is where you want to get the ball out. It's about these timing throws. Is I feel like Matt Jones is just a more perfect fit here because we saw him at the Senior Bowl really just be able to understand the offense very quickly, and I think he can do that with Shanahan's offense. But you look at Shanahan's track record of quarterbacks, Kirk Cousins, Matt Ryan. I mean, hell, he won an MVP with Matt Ryan. I think Matt Jones can easily fit in that category with those guys and day one facto be the starting guy. I He he anticipates throws very so well, like, Better, even better than Jimmy G, I believe so. And you know, it, in this system, if you're just a tick too late, then it kind of just blows up the play. And you saw it there with Nick Mullins. I I think that completely changes there. And where you know, Matt Jones, maybe he doesn't have the higher ceiling than Justin Fields, but Justin Fields is just I don't think this is the system for him. And that is he's more of a project. Yeah, so I, I like the like. Let's just look at the quarterbacks that Shanahan has had success under because I keep seeing reports, whether it's from insiders or just people's opinions. I think it's people's opinions. It is, is that Shanahan wants a running quarterback? When the hell has he had a running quarterback? He's had top offenses in the league with, like you said, Kirk Cousins, an MVP level year where he went to the Super Bowl with Matt Ryan where the Falcons easily had one of the best offenses in the league. Jimmy G he went to a Super Bowl with. 
None of these guys are mobile quarterbacks. And he's having top half of the league offense. 2019, the 49ers, I think, were like third in in, in points scored with their offense. Yeah. Jimmy G's not running. Matt Ryan is not running. Kirk Cousins is not running. I, where is this narrative that Kyle Shanahan all of a sudden wants a running quarterback? I think that Kyle Shanahan, a running quarterback is a luxury, but it's not a prerequisite. A prerequisite is being able to read defenses, get through his process really quickly, and be accurate, which is something that Jimmy G last year struggled with his ankle injury. We had showed that, that when his ankle was hurt, especially against the Dolphins, he wasn't able to drive off his back foot on throws, and he was inaccurate. It killed him. Nick Mullins was inaccurate. It killed him. And you saw there, he wasn't getting through the process quickly enough. Mac Jones, what are his two biggest strengths? He reads defenses quickly and gets the ball out of hands, and he's accurate. That's exactly what the 49ers need. It's exactly what they need. I'm not saying that they shouldn't take Justin Fields. If as an organization and as a coaching staff, they think that they can speed up Justin Fields' process. Justin Fields is accurate. I'm not saying he's inaccurate. If they think that he can get, if they can get Justin Fields to where he needs to be in this offense, I could easily see them pick Mac Jones, not Mac Jones, uh, uh, Justin Fields at three. But the fact of the matter is, people are shocked by these reports of Mac Jones going at three. Mac Jones is like a puzzle piece fit for this offense. They don't need a running quarterback. They need a quarterback who can get the ball out on time and accurately. Like Mac Jones, you compare him. To Jimmy Garoppolo, he's a better prospect than Jimmy Garoppolo was. Yeah, he's a way better prospect than Kirk Cousins was, and he is on a very similar level to Matt Ryan. Why can't Mac Jones be a very successful quarterback at pick three? Uh, well, it's probably a couple things. Uh, people just tend to hate Alabama quarterbacks, and they look at all the weapons around that he had at Alabama, and just like you know, give him them more credit, and that he just had a very easy job to do. That anybody could have done that job. I, you know, yeah. Did he have one? Did he have a more easier job than you know Zach Wilson at BYU? Yeah, but like, it still look at the tape. He's the one that making the throws, and I, I think you're right. I, I just really like him where he's at. And I wouldn't be afraid to take him at three. Hell, I wouldn't be afraid to take him at two. I just think he's that good. At the end of the day, if this is Shanahan's guy, you know, and he sees him worth extra uh, two first round picks for him. You know, then he's your guy, and you better not miss on him. But from what we have seen and from our evaluation of Matt Jones, the 49ers would be an absolute perfect fit for him. And I think, you know, they become that team in the West to beat again with him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they hit on Mac Jones. I think it's like you said that he's an Alabama quarterback. You have that sour taste in your mouth from Tua. But also, it's just kind of like, you know, that whole mobile quarterback thing is like, you know, the, people don't think you can win with a quarterback like Matt Jones. you got to be like Patrick Mahomes running around the field or Russell Wilson running around the field. And, and I just say that's completely false because we just saw yeah, a 45-year-old man just win the Super Bowl, even though he's but the But what goat, I don't understand like, is that the same people that were hyping the crap out of Tua last year are the ones that are dissing Mac Jones for being a pocket quarterback. These are two po- – like, oh, yeah, yeah, Tua was a little bit more mobile than Mac Jones, but it's not like Tua's out here being Deshaun Watson. It's not like he's Kyler Murray. Like, he's a Baker Mayfield in terms of mobility. And half the times you see him escape the pocket, you would have wanted him to make a throw because he missed someone open to, to try and run. Um, I, I don't understand it. Maybe, Maybe it's just it's because it gets clicks. Maybe it just gets clicks because the, the public does not believe in Mac Jones. I have no idea. Well, I mean, you know, it, it's always good to fade the public, too, so... You know, I, I I truly believe that, and it, maybe it's also because people were really high on Tua, and he came in last year and did play great. You know, by any certain means or by like you know a fifth overall selection or third overall selection standard. Is he fifth? I think he was fifth, right? It, well, yeah, he was whatever. Fifth. A top, a top five pick. You know, like did he play like it last year? No, not really. So maybe they're just leaning forward, but also Matt Jones, he's like. To, him and Tua had the same weapons. And Devontae Smith and Jalen Waddle had both said they prefer Mac Jones throwing the, him the ball. Wait, I have a higher grade on Mac Jones than I did on Tua. I, yeah, I'm I not did coming too. out here and saying that I was necessarily a huge fader of Tua. Initially, I didn't like Tua's tape. 
but as I watched more, I feel like I warmed up to him. Um, mm-hmm. But Mac Jones is a guy that I'm legitimately sold on. You know, I think that a lot of the quarterbacks this year are really good, but Mac Jones especially is a guy that I'm sold. I, I think he could be really good. I'm not saying I'm not sold on, on Justin Fields. I do like Justin Fields, and he is a guy that I would take with a top 10 selection. It's just, at the end of the day, I like Mac Jones more than him. Um, now, I, I still like Justin Fields, but I think it makes sense for the Niners to pick him at 3. I think that people, the people that are saying that Justin Fields is miles ahead of him should go and watch the Mac Jones tape and really look at it in depth instead of saying, oh, well, Alabama's good. That means Mac Jones was carried. Ohio State was freaking good, too. Ohio no. State's got first-round receivers at the ass. I, Garrett Wilson and Olave are really talented receivers, talented O-linemen. Stop talking out of your ass. Watch the tape. Look at the stats. It's really not I, that I, crazy. I think the haters on Matt Jones have, you know, clearly just not watched the tape. You know, you if you turn the tape on, you you will see why this guy is legit. He has great touch of the ball. His anticipation is great. He hits on timing throws. He also, you know, has a great feel of the pocket while in pressure. It, like, he does all the things I think you want. Is as a quarterback, I think he just does them right. You know, he plays the game right. He's smart. And he picks up on the offense easier. And he throws a very catchable ball. Like, yeah, he has some flaws. But if he's going in the 49ers day one, I mean, I, I'll take the 49ers spread if they're, if they're, if they're underdogs. I don't care. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I've when I saw the senior bowl, I just fell in love with Mac Jones. I'd already kind of liked him before. I had seen some some uh, like quarterback camp tape, and I thought he threw a pretty good football. But then I saw him in the senior bowl, and it's like, wow, this guy's got the it factor on top of the game tape that we saw. Uh, the people that think that he is a game manager, he does not make game manager throws. He throws people open a lot of the time. Yeah, he's throwing a ton of RPOs, and there are easy throws for the Alabama offense, but for as many easy throws, he's got some really good ones. So mm-hmm. I believe in Mac Jones. I think that if the 49ers take him, it's a good pick. 